हे मेकर्स दिस इज थ्रुवीन एंड आई कम अप विद अनादर इंटरेस्टिंग वीडियो ऑन पावर एप्स इन दिस एपिसोड आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट अ शॉर्ट टिप टू गेट द लेटेस्ट वर्जन इन साइड द पावर एप स्क्रीन सो लेट से दिस इज माई पावर एप्स एंड यू कैन सी इन द वर्जन सेक्शन द डिफरेंट वर्जन आर हियर नाउ यू वॉन्ट टू ट्रैक वॉट इज द लेटेस्ट वर्जन ऑफ द एप एंड यू वॉन्ट टू डिस्प्ले दैट वर्जन इन साइड योर पावर एप स्क्रीन so how can i do that for that a very simple power effects function we need to use so let me show you the step by step procedure to get the latest version inside the power apps screen but before that if you haven't followed me to my instagram and twitter handle do follow me because these are the platform where i'm uploading short content on power platform so without further delay let's get started and talk about the solution to get the latest version inside the power app screen to get started with the process first of all we need to connect power apps for makers connector for that click on add data and search for power apps for makers i already did that so i'm not doing it right now after that you need to revisit my earlier video where i am getting this app name inside the app now if you don't want to visit that video don't worry i'm going to show you the fast forward process for the same so whenever we are using a uh, power apps for maker dot get apps it will give you all the apps for your environment and now if you wanted to find out the current apps id basically you need to use the following formula where you are filtering power apps for makers dot get apps dot value with display name is equal to get time zone so my app name is get time zone so i'm just filtering that so i'm getting the app id using the name property using this formula so this is the prerequisite that you need app id for your power apps so even if you wanted to pass that in a static manner by copying and pasting from the detail section i am good but i prefer to go it with the dynamic manner so you will always have the latest id for your app so it is nothing but you need to use power apps for maker dot at apps dot value filter by your app name and it will give you the guid for the app on the screen so the guid is looking like this now as the next part what we need to do is we need to find out the versions for our power apps for that what we need to do here is let's see let's add one label control on our screen and now let's use a function power apps for makers dot get app versions and inside that you need to pass your app id so you can simply pass your app id from here like this or you can use this dynamic value as well so i am going to use the dynamic value so i am just copying and pasting this formula inside my label control so i am just going here and in get version i am just passing this formula to get the app id and i already shown you the another option for directly copying and pasting the static app id right it's totally up to you now still it is going throwing us an error because we are not getting a single value from here so now what we need to do here is it will return us all the versions so from those versions we need count row so let's use count rows function and from there let's just complete this bracket and then we need to use dot value and complete the bracket and let's format the text so this is looking like this pass for makers dot get app version inside that pass the app id and just use the count rows function outside if with the value and that will give you the app version so you can see i am getting 5 over here right so uh, if i check here go to the version section and if you see 
total I have five versions at this moment. Now let's say if I'm saving this version at this moment, so new version will be added as version six. So let's check that. So I'm just saving this app. Now if I go here inside my app section and click on refresh, let's see what we are getting over here. So this is the version six. And now what we need to do here is we should get the version six over here as well. Now what I'm doing here is I'm just copying this formula and I'm just storing on the app start. So I'm just clicking on app start and taking one variable called variable app version. And inside that I'm just copying and pasting the same formula. Now let's print that set variable into any of our label. So I just took this label control and I'm just adding version and person and whatever the set variable that we have just set that is variable app version, right? And now let's try to run on start and let's see the outcome over here. So I just started run the app start and you can see that the version has been changed as version six. So we are getting the latest version over here. Isn't that cool? So this is how you can simply get the latest Power Apps version from the version history inside your Power Apps app screen. Hope this video helps you and values your time. So if you find this video helpful, make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel. If you are looking for consultancy, this is the website link. If you want to follow me on all my social media handles along with Twitter, Instagram and podcast, all the links are available on the channel banner homepage. And if you are looking for Hindi content and short content on Power Platform, the dedicated channel called Digital Dhruvin is here. Subscribe this channel and show your love over here as well. With this, this is Dhruvin signing off. See you in the next session with some amazing content. Till then, have a great day. Goodbye.